The reason why it's set in the 1950s and 60s is because I'm kind of fascinated by Vatican II, so that's the backdrop. And then I sort of accidentally ended up reading a book that led me into the world of nuns, and particularly fascinating was they go through a whole training program. So what the movie is really about is about the training to become a nun when you're very young. We got along really well with Maggie and we had just great conversations from the beginning. But then the idea of kind of, uh, for my character, a love story with God just seemed bizarre and interesting. Uh, and then to work with all these really talented actresses, it was um, exciting. The subject of, of faith is something that's always interested me. I'm not really a religious person in my own life, but it was something I thought about a lot growing up, especially when I was little, a wonderment of God and, and why people went to church and why people devoted their life. And that was really something fascinating to get into. And Maggie's script was so beautiful. Also it was because it's a story about women. Um, and we don't, I don't read a lot of those. The opportunity to get to work with a lot of young women was something that really drew me to it. Those are all the reasons that I was really drawn to it. I do think faith is, is such an interesting topic, especially the more you travel. Like last year I was in so many different places where the people around me, their faith was so different, sometimes so extreme, sometimes so lax. Um, I grew up Jewish. I was always aware of how different I seemed because I have nobody around me in my schools or anything that was talking about the same things. Um, I do think it's fascinating and, and you are kind of sometimes nurtured by your own family or your community or all of these things. I'm very interested in, in what draws people and what um, kind of maintains different relationships. I came to it with like an obsession with a bunch of older nun films that just left a mark on me from the first time I saw them. So the Bells of St. Mary, um, which was, I think, one of the first ones. Black Narcissus, Ida and Doubt, and um, Agnes of God. They're like great movies, and they're cinematic movies. They're not tough studies of life in a convent. So actually, that plus reading all these um, ex-nun memoirs, I felt like probably the reason why the subject hasn't been explored as much as because it is it is set in a predominantly female environment, mm -hmm. so it's not usually it's difficult. I'm sure just even to get movies greenlit where they're all where it's an all all women and stuff. So that could possibly be a reason. Um, but that's at the same time what made it so like extra interesting to me. I'm not religious, and um, I think one of the cool things about this movie is that it doesn't really make it overly positive or overly negative, um, and everyone can kind of have their personal experience in it, or I, I think that's what the, the hope was. But I think something cool that it illustrates is how beautiful spirituality can be and how um, uh, scary organized religion can be. For me, it was really hard to think about any of my own personal experiences because the moment you put on that habit, it's so restrictive. You're in, you know, our set designers did such an amazing job. You couldn't help but go on your own journey throughout the day. There was no, there was no part of me being me once that outfit was on and um, <laughs> that outfit. Um, but, um, you know, in the second you, I would take off the headpiece, it would just, it felt, I don't know, it was just every day I had a real journey with that, you it know, just a, wearing that. It was a very interesting experience because we did only shoot in one location. Mm -hmm. um, so compared to other projects I've worked on, and we only, yeah, you wear the same habit. It was an interesting transformation, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm.